Hello. So when we talk about sustainable energy, often in time people always thought about um, re the, re the renewables. But do you know that in terms of achieving our 2030 carbon emission target, energy efficiency is actually responsible for 50% of that. And if you further drill down the numbers, we are not making progress in this front at all. Especially since 2015, we're actually making a regress in this front. And if you further to see where these energy goes to, it's actually going to the different types of equipments that give us cooling, give us heating, and keeps the world running. So all in all, across different categories of equipments, on average, you have still can save about 13% more energy just by knowing how to operate these equipments effectively. We're not talking about new technology here. Just by knowing when to turn on which, just by knowing how to set the right parameters, you can achieve 13% reduction, right? And what we have been doing for the past few years is to figure out how can we deliver these just on-time insights to the operators so that they can achieve the same energy efficiency without having a PhD in thermodynamics, right? Without having spent decades on working on a particular equipment. Because for humans, with the rapid speeds of technology advancement, we just cannot keep up with all these technology, right? So what we have done is that we introduce cost-effective sensors. Right, to deploy at these equipments to quickly pick out all these data in real time every minute, sometimes even every seconds. But more importantly is we work with university institutes around the world to develop algorithms for different aspects of the equipment classes. It can be gas turbines, can be chillers, can be boilers, can be furnaces. So when you have real-time data fit into these algorithms, it will right away tell the operators what you should do in order to achieve the most energy efficient way. And this information can be delivered to you, to the operators through web, uh, through mobile, or even through Slack in the form of chatbot. Right? So all the engineers can work on this together. And what's more interestingly about this initiative is at the Barclay event, uh, at the Unreasonable Impact Asia Pacific, I met a very interesting fellow, um, who is Carl, you might have met him earlier, <laughs> right? It turns out that even before I, while I was still a baby, he's already been working on uh, <laughs> sustainability reporting for a lot of these large organizations that you heard about, right? He has developed models for these sustainability reporting for, for DHR and etc. but his model requires um, a survey and manual imp uh, input on these uh, data points, and it requires consultants to really drive um, um, in the large scale. So what we have decided to do after the event is that we decided to set up a JV, and we'll replace um, the survey part with real-time cost-effective sensors, and we'll use algorithms to be able to really generate these type of sustainability reporting on demand in a much more cost-effective manner. So it's not just these large organizations can afford to be more sustainable, you can also have the small SMEs and shop to be able to use them as well. So, thank you. So I would like to conclude with the last slides. Um, in Singapore, we already work with, um, we already work with the largest hotel chain um, to be able to generate these sustainability reports. In Singapore, all their hotels, we're now delivering sustainability report on demand, and we'll be scaling this sustainability report to all their properties in the region, 30 plus hotels. In Thailand, when you have much older buildings and much older factories where equipment is actually a biggest problem, we're generating sustainable reporting so that they can know what is the best equipment to buy in order to achieve the energy efficiency in the most cost-effective way. And in Taiwan, we're scaling out to industrial factories, right, to be able to be more aware of their sustainability, but also to improve their productivity at the, at the end. So thank you.